So I just got a PS5 and it comes with around one terabyte of storage, actually a little less than that after the system's installed. But I want to upgrade the storage on it and I don't want to use an external hard drive. Well, it turns out you can install an internal SSD to expand the storage on a PS5 as long as you know what you're doing and are comfortable with a little DIY process. I'm Jason Cipriani and in this ZDNet video, I'm going to install an SSD in the PS5 for the first time and I'm taking you guys along the ride with me. Never done this before, don't really know what to expect. I've built a few gaming PCs, but we'll see what happens. It, it shouldn't be too hard, right? In order to add more storage to your PS5, you're going to need a few things. You're gonna need a screwdriver. I use the iFixit toolkit. It comes in handy for working on PCs. I imagine it's gonna come in handy for working on a PS5, which is basically a PC. You're also gonna need an M2 SSD. Samsung sent me this one for this video and they have two article. Now there's some specifics for PS5 M2 SSDs and that's a specific name. It's M.2 if you're gonna Google it. You need to have a PCIe 4.0 SSD. That just means it is gonna be fast. It's the current generation, the best support, fastest support for reading and writing. This Samsung 980 Pro is two terabytes, but it comes 512 is where I think it starts, 512 gigabytes, and it has a read-write speed of 7,000. I was reading on Sony's site, they recommend a minimum read-write speed of around 5,000 megabytes per second or megabits per second. So once you have, of course, your PS5, the digital or the disc version, doesn't matter, both of them have the same capability. What you wanna do is power off your PS5. You wanna detach all the cables, all of that. I have a digital edition here. Um, and then you're gonna lay it on a flat surface with the back of the PS5 facing you and the PS logo on the front facing down. So that'll be on the bottom. Before you start this, you're gonna to wanna to touch something metal. I have a couple things around here to get rid of any shock, electric shock or uh, static shock you have built up. And then you're gonna slide the cover off. So from what I read is you pull up a little bit and slide. I've never done this before. Oh, there we go. I've never done this before. So trials, tribulations, mistakes, you're gonna see it all. Cover is off. Set that aside. All right, so here's the inside of the PS5 with the cover off. This, did you hear that static? I still had some. This is where the SSD is going to go. So to make things easier, I'm going to lift it up, turn it facing me, and so it's closer. I'm going to go ahead and grab a screwdriver. Sony recommends or states you need a number one um, Phillips screwdriver, which I have right here. This is why I love the iFixit toolkit. Um, it has a whole bunch of different screws and, and everything you need for working on a PC or other electronic devices. All right, so this is the cover for the SSD. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just remove that screw that's holding the cover in. And I'm gonna set that screw aside in the lid here. I'm gonna lift this up, let's see. All right, so there's the cover. All right, so inside this storage bin is where the SSD is gonna go. There's a slot down here on the end that it connects to. And you can see there are these different holes here where you'll mount the SSD depending on the length of it. And I'll show you here in a second when I open this one up and take it out um, what that looks like. There's another screw here what you're gonna do, and there's also a little, should be a rubber gasket of some sort, or a standoff underneath that. So I'm, what I'm gonna do now is take that screw out, use the same number one Phillips head. Oh, emoji is mad, can you hear him barking? All right, so that's not actually rubber, that's metal. Um, but I'm gonna set those aside, and now it's time to open the SSD. So there's a bunch of these on the market. What you can do is, I'll include a link to this specific one um, in the comments or down below. Is that how you say it? I'll, 
Sorry, didn't mean to point at you guys with the knife. I'll include a link to this one specifically in the notes for the video, uh, but there are plenty of PS5 specific SSDs on the market. What you wanna do is look for one that comes with a heat sink on top of it. You're gonna need that in order to deal with the heat that's created by the PS5. Sony doesn't recommend using an SSD without a heat sink inside the PS5. And I would back that too because it's gonna get hot and over time the life of the SSD is gonna be lessened if you don't have a heat sink on there to deal with dissipating all of that excess heat. You can use any M.2 SSD with a third party heat sink. Those are also available on Amazon. If you look up PS5 SSD heat sink, you'll find some third party options that fit within the specifications so it fits in this housing because you don't have a lot of space here, so it's very specific. This SSD specifically is meant for a PS5. So you don't have to worry about compatibility. So I'm gonna open this up. Let's see what all we got in here. Don't really care about the instructions. All right. So here's the SSD. This is the end that is gonna plug into the PS5 itself. And on here is where you're gonna use the screw we removed earlier with that standoff to hold it in place. So. I can't find a listing on the box just real quickly of what length this SSD is. So in order to guide it with where you wanna put the standoff and the screw, what I would do is just kind of hold it up here. You can see what hole it lines up with, and then you're gonna put the standoff inside. Actually, that's kind of cool. There's, so you would think that the, the standoff here is gonna slide around, right? And you're gonna have a hard time lining it up with the hole. But there's three dots here. I don't know if you guys can see them, that when you set the standoff inside that, it holds it in place and lines it up automatically for you. That's, that's actually really smart, really cool. Okay, so as for inserting the SSD, what you wanna do is do it at an angle. And you, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can. See how that's kinda of keyed there? There's one side that's really, short and then there's a line a gap there and then a longer side you can look inside your ps5 and you'll see the same kind of setup with where it plugs into you're going to of course line those up obviously facing up there's only one way for this to go and you're going to put it in at an angle and once it kind of feels like it slides in a little bit then you're going to push down there we go and here it pop into place and it should have a little bit of gif as far as going up and down. Now I'm gonna take the screw, put it back in. You don't wanna over tighten this, of course, but just get it so it's tight enough. All right, that feels good. I'm gonna take the cover that we removed earlier, put the hook back in on that side, down, get a screw. I don't know if you guys can see this, but on the head of the screw are the PlayStation button icons. So you have like the triangle, square, circle, X. Pretty cool. Attention to detail. Screw that down again, just hand tight. Close the knife up here. Set that aside. And I'm gonna rotate this back so I can kind of hopefully remember how to put the cover on. I want to say it was like this. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was like this. And then, snaps into place and done. All right, so the rest of the process from what I understand is connect this back to your TV with power and turn it on and you'll immediately be prompted with the screen or greeted with the screen asking you to format the SSD that you have just added to your PS5. That'll take a few seconds. Bear in mind if you're reusing an old SSD that you had lying around, when you format, it will erase everything off of it. It'll be like starting over. So don't do that if you have important stuff on there. Once it's formatted, 
you can move games and content and videos and game capture, all that other stuff between the internal built-in SSD that comes with the PS5 as well as your new internal storage that you just added yourself. So I just went from one terabyte to three terabytes of storage in this PS5, which is more than enough to hold a bunch of games, including the new Jedi Survivor game that is massive. All right, so that was simple enough. I mean, what was that, like five minutes, 10 minutes? Not too bad, and I didn't make any mistakes. That was actually pretty good. Hopefully you learned how to add an SSD to your PS5 and expand its storage. It's actually not that hard and pretty affordable if you shop around for a good SSD. And yeah, I don't know how else to wrap this up. I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching this ZDNet video. I'm Jason Cipriani. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips, how-to articles, how-to videos, and all the latest news and reviews. Thank you.